here she is, the lovely and talented Keisha Turner. How you doing? Happy to have you here. I'm okay. I'm okay. Had a good show last night out in London. Yes, I did. A nice sleep in this morning. <laughs> She must really tell people. So what's on the schedule for tonight? You going out wild and out? Friday no, night? actually I have another show, so I'm heading out in 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 Peterborough. Oh, nice. Eh. I don't I don't Peterborough. I, I'm getting some of the I'm you know the Southern Ontario circuit. Nice. So I'm, I'm getting those in. Hardest wicked women right here in showbiz all over the place. So your song "Don't Call Me Baby" blazing up the airwaves. A lot of people, of course, on that yes, track. Yeah. So here's what I'm wondering: When is it okay to call you, baby? It is, it's okay to call me baby, you know, um, once we have a rapport. Okay. And, I, and, and, you know, maybe it's, it's, it's polite to at least ask and make sure it's like, you know, it's okay if I call you baby. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then if I ask first, I guess, I don't know, it, it, it might decrease the sexual tension or, you know, what sexual you're trying to call Sexual tension? Wait, no, not, not, I don't mean, I don't mean me, I don't mean me calling you baby. <laughs> but I mean the individual who might be calling you baby, you know I what guess, I mean? I guess, I guess. But, you know, I think, I think if you have a pretty good idea that it's safe, then okay. Vanity, try it. See okay. what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now is that is that song about a, a, a first person experience or a third person observation, so to speak? It's about some guy. It's about some guy, some eh? Guy. Pretty close to home <laughs> there. Now you've been at it for quite some time, and uh, you first got your break as an independent artist, you know, mm -hmm. with the support of your mom. Yes. Now you're on a major internationally. Yes, sir. When did you realize this is what I'm gonna do for a living? Um. I decided that right after high school. Really? So I graduated in 2003, and I was like, let's go for it. Mom and Dad, I got five years. I'm just going to go gung-ho, and I did everything I could. What do you mean five years? You had a five-year plan? Well, I told them, you know, if I, nothing ha nothing significant happens within five years, okay. I'll go back to post-secondary, right? That's very reasonable of you. So. Okay. But. And so, <laughs> you're like, oh, well, stuff's taking off right no, now. No, I did everything I could. I Vocal, piano, guitar, musical theater, acting. I was a gospel choir, jazz choir, writing my own material, making my own songs. I was working in the um, underground Edmonton hip hop scene, you know, doing collabos, doing shows with guys and all that kind of stuff. And so I was, any opportunity, you saw me. You, you saw were me. in it. You were living <laughs> it. You were really in it. You went all yeah. out. Now, here's the thing the, um, I guess, human nature is to look for comfort, right? So in a situation like the music industry that's full of uncertainty, where do you where do you find comfort in all of it? You know what? I've been very wise to I feel surround myself with, you know, a select okay. few, whether it's family, friends, and so it's the same way I say I don't have friends, I have family. Because all my friends are just that close. So to me, my uncertainty, you know, when I feel that way is is just to, you know, put, confide in them because I feel that there's such a solid base. You've obviously never had a friend backstab you, have you? I have. <laughs> have you really? <laughs> so how do you trust people then? You know what? It's just my nature. Like, the thing is, is some of the stuff I've been through, you, you think I would, I would somehow be a little bit more cautious when it comes to trusting people, but I can't help it. I just believe in, in the better nature of people. Like, I, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt until you prove me wrong. Nice, I so. like that. Well, when you come back next time, we're going to talk about some of those things that have happened to you. Right now, I want to talk about when a Homer album comes out this August. Watch out for it. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Thank Always you. a pleasure. And right now, we're going to check out Don't Call Me Baby.